Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to the Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2 tutorials and in this tutorial we're going to cover titles and text in Final Cut Pro. Um, my This is probably one of my favorite features within Final Cut Pro and how freely you can use the titles and text. So let's just jump right in within our project here. Previous tutorial we learned about transitions. So we're going to go ahead and go to this T looking icon and uh, we're going to click on it it'll open up our titles. <clears throat> Here you have 3D titles and your standard basics, which you'll find in iMovie, but you can't edit them as much as you can in Final Cut Pro. So in 3D text and titles, we're going to cover in the next tutorial, but for now, let's just go ahead and jump in. There's 195 in total, so there's several for you to choose from. Um, you can scroll down, there's some with animations. Um, you can also just go simply by scrolling over them to see how the text moves and how it adjusts. And it's actually quite really cool. I'm, I love like some of these and uh, the animations they give you with some of them, like just like that right there. That's pretty cool. And then uh, just the move, and they have the titles as well. But for now, we're just gonna use the basic, which is gonna be the basic title. And uh, you're gonna just simply grab it, drag it. You can either put it as a t text by itself, just like this, or you can put it on top of an image, just like this. Now we have it on top of an image. You can do it on any image that you import into your Final Cut Pro. Now, for now, just for this purpose, we're just gonna put it right here by itself, and uh, we're gonna begin editing. You may be wondering, how do you begin editing? You can either double click on it, or, and then change the text right there, and then also, the coolest thing about this is you can move the text wherever you want. You can have it left hand, right, top, just anywhere, but for now, we're just gonna put it at the top here. Now, the way we're gonna begin editing it, the text is going to go to this inspector tool. You can hit command 4 for it or you can just simply click the button. It'll open it up and it'll give you the basic information regarding the text. Right now we're just going to name the text. We're going to have it say um, example title. And then uh, we're going to go 2D styles just because this is a 2D text. Next tutorial we'll cover 3D. Um, but let's go with something cool. Let's go with uh, fantasy here. and. Uh, it should automatically change it just like that. Actually, no, let's, let's do no, it's something different. Let's go with Fox Fox 3D. It looks it gives it a 3D look basically. Example title. Um basically you need 3D glasses to make this look like as if it was popping out of the screen. That's what this means. Um so now that we have this text, from here we can uh, adjust the basics of it, we can adjust the size. And it all does it in real time, so you can see it how it adjusts it. And then you can align it left, I mean right, just just like that. Also, you got the vertical alignment. And then if you open up the drop down for the advanced um, options, you got line spacing here. You also have tracking. You'll notice that the tracking right there adjusts as well. And then also you got baseline, all caps if you like all caps. And then you can do all cap size. Just like this, you can adjust them, the main uh, the main letters at least. And then let's say you made a change you don't want, you can go to the right hand side here and you can hit this reset button and it'll reset everything back to normal. So we're gonna hide the advanced options. 3D text, like I said, we'll cover in the next tutorial. Then you can adjust the face, you can go ahead and show. In order to adjust the face, you're gonna wanna go ahead and highlight this box here. That way it enables it for you to edit. Now we're gonna color it and we're gonna change the color the face is basically the front of the um, the titles and text. We're going to change it to something red. And you can see it in real time, change the color. So you can choose, um, basically what I'm doing is I'm selecting and I'm moving it around. And you can see it change the colors. And I'm going to choose this darker red right over here. You can change the opacity as well of the face. And then also a blur of the face as well if you want, if you like something like that. And then there's also that reset button as well up here just in case you made a change you don't like. And you can hit Command Z always to redo a change, I mean undo your previous step. So now that, now that we're done with the face, I'm going to go hide it. Now we can put an outline to it too if you want an outline. And it already kind of has an outline just because it's a 3D type of a text. We can go ahead and add an additional one. Now you can see there's yellow, and then you can change the color of the outline as well. I'm going to go with a whitish outline. Actually, let's go with a neon blue here, light blue, I would say. And there we go, and then we can change the opacity of that as well. And then we can add a blur to that as well, and then also the width of how big 
or how small you want the outline to be. Most of the time you have a small outline which looks quite quite interesting here. And then there's also that reset button as well if you made a change you don't like. We're going to hide that and also you can enable and disable a drop shadow. Right now it automatically applies one for you. <clears throat> but we're going to disable it because we don't want a drop shadow so we're just going to remove that completely. Now we have a text here and uh, we can move it wherever we want just like I said earlier. And then uh, also in our timeline, we can move it over uh, our image, for example. <clears throat> and you can have the text not just over images, you can have it over video as well, just like this. Now we can see our text over the video. And then also, yeah, just like earlier, we can have it over an image. And then over the image, you can just move it around just as you please as well. You gotta first have it make sure it's selected. then we can move it wherever we want. Now another cool tri t tip or trick that you can use with this is also if you have the text selected you can also you know, like this it has the box around it you can go ahead and hit the command or hold the command key and now you can adjust how you want the text to look. Now this is going to more of the 3D options but um, you can adjust how you want the text to float for example like you can do a whole lot here as well. And if you don't like the change you made, for example, you did that accidentally and you, you're not sure how to put it back, you're just gonna hit the Command Z button and then hit Command Z again and it will undo that last change that you made. And then from there we can just do whatever we like. But that's the basics of titles and text. Uh, in the next tutorial we'll cover 3D text, but be sure to leave any comments or in com comment section below. I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life